the subject of Jesuit infiltration into Protestant churches, whenever that subject is brought up, it's often ignored, dismissed, or just uh, brushed aside. For some reason, they don't like to think of this fact. But the story I'm about to tell you occurred in 1939 at a Seventh-day Adventist institution, Washington Missionary College, located in Tacoma Park, Maryland. This was told to me by Dr. B.G. Wilkinson, who was president of the college from 1935 to 1945. Now, Dr. Wilkinson told me that he uncovered a Jesuit infiltrator at that time, in 1939. And this is how it happened. There had been a new Bible instructor hired by the board. And this man had been teaching Bible to the undergraduate theological majors for about five months. Now, Dr. Wilkinson had always encouraged an open-door policy, and he encouraged the confidences of his students, especially his theological students. Now, some of these young men came to him after a period of about four or five months, and they said, Dr. Wilkinson, there's, you know, you, you teach Bible differently than this new Bible instructor does. There's some things about him that we don't understand. He brings up doubts in the classroom, doubts about our theological position, about our doctrines, these doubts are then not resolved. They're left sort of hanging in the air. And they had other questions which Dr. Wilkinson couldn't, couldn't answer. It aroused Dr. Wilkinson's suspicions about this man. Now, the teachers had in, in uh, Old Columbia Hall uh, little pigeonholes, boxes where they mail uh, slots, you know. They used to uh, put their uh, mail in these little pigeonholes and the faculty would come and pick up their, their letters. Uh, this one day, uh, Wilkinson saw an envelope being placed by the mailman in the mail slot for this uh, Bible teacher. And the letter was a rather long, rectangular, official looking letter. And after the mailman left, Dr. Wilkinson stepped over to the box and he drew the letter out. And he looked at it, and the return address was a Hereford Road address. Now, Wilkinson knew that that was a Jesuit college. It wasn't located too far from Washington Missionary College. He took the letter and he steamed it open. Of course, this was an illegal act. But, you know, when you're dealing with a class like they are, they committed many illegal acts in their time, the assassination of princes being the least of their illegal acts. And you know, the Jesuit motto is the end justifies the means. And Wilkinson thought, I'm going to steam this letter open. And if, if it's an innocent thing, I'll just close it up again, say nothing. He steamed it open and inside he found orders from this young man's superior, telling the young man, outlining to him what he was to preach or, or teach uh, in his Bible class for the next several months. Dr. Wilkinson reinserted the letter, gummed the flap back on. He called the young teacher in. He said to this young man, he had the letter on his desk, you know, and he said to this young man, I have a piece of mail for you. And he handed it to him. And he said, he says, we know who you are, and we know why you are here. You are a Jesuit, are you not? The young man looked across the desk at Dr. Wilkinson. He picked up his mail, turned on his heel, and walked out. And it was the last they have absorbed this man. He never even stopped to pick up his pay. But he cleared off of that campus the very same hour. The very same hour. The very same hour. The very same hour.